Hey kids, it's Pastor Steve. It's an exciting time because uh, Thanksgiving is coming and then Advent and then Christmas and all sorts of things. Uh, but we're going to talk about the prophet Isaiah, right? Prophet is someone who talks to God and for God in the scriptures here. Uh, but before we talk about Isaiah chapter 2, I have a question. What is this? What is it used for? Yeah, it's a, it's a belt and it's used for yeah, holding up your pants, right? It's, it's to help you keep your pants up. Uh, but did anyone say something else that it's used for? Like hitting people? Did you did you say that? Yeah, some, it's, it's weird because it's really meant for holding up pants, but some people use it for other things, for, for hurting, right? Um, in our Bible passage, in Isaiah chapter 2, Isaiah talks and talks about a day where God is going to fix everything. God is going to make things right. People are going to come to God and he's going to bring a time of, of uh, making the wrong things right. And it says that, that God, that when God, during this time, people will take their swords and turn them to plowshares. They'll take their spears and they'll turn them into prune hooks. All right, so spears and swords are things, are weapons, right? They're meant to hurt people, right? To hurt in battles, they hurt people. They're not nice things. But he's saying that they will take them, he'll beat them because they're metal, so they'll rework them, they'll recreate them, and turn them into plowshares and prunings, things that are gardening, good for gardening and farms, things that help people. So... One day there'll be a time where things that hurt people will be transformed into things that help people, right? He makes all things good. He fixes what is broken. He takes things that hurt and make them into things that help. That's what God can do. He could transform us and transform our world to things that are, that are bad, that are yucky, that are sad, and he wipes away the sadness and make things good and better. And there'll be one day where there'll be no more sadness, no more, you know, you're, if you're thinking about what you could be thankful for for Thanksgiving, there's going to be one day, right now there's a pretty big list, but it'll be a list that has no end because God is taking the wrong things, the hurting things, the yucky things, and he, in his amazing way, is one day going to make them all disappear, make them all good things and beautiful things. Because God does that. He takes things that are bad and turns them into good. And things that are, it says he works all things for good for those who love him. He takes things that are not good and somehow brings some goodness out of it. That's the way God is. Because he's a God who is amazing, a God who is good, and a God who is love. So, takes swords and spears and turns them into farming equipment that can help feed people. That's the type of God we serve. Can I pray for you? God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for friends. We thank you for our church family. We thank you for all the good things. Lord, help us remember all the good things that you're doing in our lives. May we be thankful people. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, let us worship God together.